Hey guys, Dave here. Nate, Tennis Point USA. Here to talk a little bit about the uh, Babolat line of rackets. Uh, when you go look at this line of rackets, it uh, can be a little overwhelming, a lot of options there. Um, we're gonna help try to drill through some of those and steer you in the right direction. So we start out with the Pure Drive family. So kind of denoted by their blue color. And uh, if one word summed this line up, it would be versatility. Um, it's really a racket that works well for a broad spectrum of players. Um, when these came out in the late 90s, the term tweener was coined for this style of racket, uh, with the idea being that it's in between a smaller head and a larger head. It's not too heavy, it's not too light. So it gives you a nice blend of a lot of the different playing features you're looking for. Um, one thing I've noticed with it is when you hit the ball off center, very forgiving on a lot of shots. I mean, I'm a four or five player, not as young as I used to be. Uh, need a little more forgiveness on off center hits. Pure Drive really provides that. Nate is a much stronger player than I am. He certainly hits with a lot more pace, but I think he enjoyed it as well. What are your, what are your thoughts on yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, like you just said, it's got a massive sweet spot, big string bed, gives you plenty of forgiveness when you're uh, swinging to the modern swing path and you, you find yourself hitting the ball a little bit off center. You're still gonna hit a very nice ball and you're gonna find the right pace and the right spin that you generated from even hitting the ball in the middle of the racket. So I think in that aspect, this is a great stick for many players ranging from the beginner level all the way to the advanced level. And you see players uh, entering the sport all the way to the guys on the tour using it. Which, what makes it one of our best sellers because it does work for so many different player types. If you want kind of the top of the line, even if you're a beginning player, the Pure Drive allows you to get into that top of the line with technology, all the bells and whistles. Um, but maybe you want something a little bit lighter, a little larger head. Um, there's a gamut of, of model uh, offerings in the Pure Drive line, uh, which we'll line out in the video. But just, it's really versatile, broad spectrum of players. Um, Big sweet spot. Pure Drive in a nutshell. All right, if we move to the Pure Aero family within the Babolat Racket line, this part of the line is really about spin. So this is the racket used by Rafa Nadal. Um, probably seen the way he plays. Certainly don't have to play like that to use the Pure Aero, but uh, the idea with the Pure Aero is that it's a more aerodynamic beam shape. So it takes a lot of the tenants of the Pure Drive with being very forgiving, easy to hit, uh, great racket for a lot of different players. But if you're someone that likes to hit with a lot of spin, the Pure Aero is probably the direction to go. I know this is Nate's racket of choice. We're not paid to say this, used it for a long time, but his modern game definitely suits the way this racket's designed. Yeah, I've got the full Western grip. Um... I don't know where I learned it from, but I've been sticking with that modern swing path. And I rely on, especially with my forehand, a lot of spin, a lot of top spin, and I need stability at contact point. Both of these things you'll get out of the Pure Arrow. And like they've also said, the aerodynamic beam shape right here cuts through the air very nicely, and it's just a light racket, and you're able to generate a ton of top spin with just how easy you can maneuver this thing through, through, the, uh, through your ball. So if you like the Pure Drive, you like the versatility of it, but you're a spin player, and that's something that's really important for you, Pure Aero is probably the name of the game for you. Pure Aero. Okay, so on to the Pure Strike portion of the Babolat Racket family. Uh, Pure Strike is definitely the most control and feel-oriented racket in the Babolat line. It's got the thinnest beam. Uh, it's the heaviest static weights. Definitely for an advanced player, maybe intermediate advanced, but uh, if you're just starting out, probably steer clear of the Pure Strike. Uh, again, for somebody that's been playing a little bit longer, hits the ball in the middle of the racket most of the time, generates their own pace, doesn't need the racket to do that for them. Um, I'm not good enough to play with this personally, I'm about a four or five. I prefer something a little more forgiving, but for that player that really hits a heavy ball, hits it right in the middle every time. Um, Nate, you're a pure arrow player. I don't know what you thought about the strike. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, this is definitely for more of a pre precise ball striker from the baseline, someone that's uh, clean off the ground. And I think this racket, like you said, with the thinner beam, at the net, the maneuverability aspect of it and the control you have with your hands in the, in the front court is exceptional, and that's why you see this racket used uh, at the top of the game. And again, where it is for more advanced players, there are a lot of iterations, a lot of different models within this line, but they're very, very specific, um, very uh, refined, I guess. So somebody that's looking for this might want a different string pattern. There is an option for that. So again, uh, it's for that more advanced player, looking for control, looking for feel, bad lot pure. Okay, so now we move on to the Evo Drive family within the Babolat range. And the idea with the Evo Drives is that they are um, they kind of take a lot of the tenants of the top of the line Pure Drive family, maybe remove some of the bells and whistles so these don't have quite as many features, 
but they're still really solid playing frames. So uh, best way to coin it, I would say, is performance value. So you still get a lot of the things that you're going to need, that you're going to appreciate with the larger sweet spot, uh, the comfort of hitting the ball off center, very generous sweet spot, but at a less, a lower price than the pure drive. So um, some interesting options within the line. You know, Nate and I were hitting with these, kind of interesting because they're definitely bigger head rackets, uh, more power. The ball definitely flies a little bit if you have a uh, longer, faster swing. You know, Nate, what did you what did you think about it? Yeah, a lot of the guys that are either just entering the game or still in that beginning phase of uh, tennis, this is a great racket. You get plenty of pop, good maneuverability on this thing, and uh, it's very forgiving. And it, it, this racket can also dominate the ball at impact, which I think is a, a big aspect. A nice racket for doubles. There's actually a 115 square inch option, which happens to be the one I'm holding. Uh, they're not all quite that size, but if you want uh, something a little easier to play uh, doubles up at the net, um, you know, again, big sweet spot, 115 square inches, but very comfortable uh, performance value, great option for that beginning to intermediate level player, um, but takes a lot of the cues from the pure drive and just kind of takes it down a notch. This is the easy Now we're going to take a look at the boost part of the Battle at Racket line. So this is, you can think of this as kind of the entry level of their performance offering. Um, you can see the design cues on these really, they're meant to look a lot like the top of the line models, but they take out a lot of the technology, uh, which really makes this line perfect for beginning players, um, maybe a junior player moving into their first adult racket. Um, but the idea behind it is that it's just a really solid all around playing racket a little bigger head sizes, like 102 to 105. So a little more forgiveness, fairly lightweight. Um, but again, it's for that beginning player. Uh, these are under $100 price points, so uh, wallet friendly. So um, Nate, I'm sure you've had some of your students, um, you know, look at things like this. What do you think about the boost? Yeah, definitely a racket that I push the juniors that are kind of entering that next phase of their, their career of kind of advancing into a bigger racket. We steer them into something like this. Still get a lot of spin and power that you get from a, an advanced level racket but it keeps the weight down and it's got a, the friendly uh, frame, the larger string bed and all, the, all those things that kind of benefit your, your junior player, your beginner player. So not necessarily for the, the younger players, even just an adult that's beginning tennis and a great racket that Bamba puts out there for, for those players. Yeah, it's just something to, uh, to get folks interested in the Battle Out line. You know, if everything was $230, $250, you know, they'd be missing out on a huge core of players, especially those that are just starting out. So I think the boost serves a really important part in Battle Out's line. And it's uh, pretty solid. Again, great performance value. Under, under 100 bucks. Lightweight. Easy on the arm. Yep, easy to hit with. So, Babylon Boost. Advantage you.